So hi, I'm uh, Jacob Bradford. I'm the CEO of uh, NDC Conferences. From the beginning, like the, the company was originally a trading company uh, run by two people, Shashti Sandberg, who is still here. Uh, you see her around the events. Uh, um, she was kind of the salesperson and her husband would do the training. Hmm. So this is like back in 2000, yeah, around the 2000, 2002. He would teach and, and she would organize and sell the classes. Um, and then she had this ad out for a position, a random position. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was like for something else, like a side gig that she had. Um, and she ended up not hiring me for that, but she asked me if I wanted to help her out with the, the training business. And that was back in 2005. We did the first conference in Oslo in 2008. And that was also a Shashti thing. I actually left the company then uh, to study to finish my degree. And, uh, and there was this Java conference established in Oslo, where, uh, which was good, doing really, really well. And uh, the .NET community was kind of asking if something could happen for .NET community. And I think it was a, like a conversation between some of the key Microsoft people in Norway and Shashti. And Shashti just said, you know, I could do it. I could run a conference. And then within six months, we had the first NDC Oslo up and running. Well, at that time it was called the Norwegian Developers Conference, right? Before it became NDC Oslo. Uh, and she got 850 people to attend that, <laughs> that first event. So that really showed the market and like, this is, um, there's a, there's a uh, space for it in yeah. Oslo. The biggest reason of actually doing the festival style uh, and where we're kind of continuing the event into the evening and even into the night, uh, in more than just like one night that we usually have for the other events. And um, was kind of based on the culture around uh, Kjøtbyen, where we are right now in the heart of Copenhagen, the meatpacking district, and the look and feel of this area, which kind of where you have great food, you have kind of the atmosphere of a festival already, and you've got this great wall. So kind of this venue was part of, was kind of how we got the idea. That if you run something here, it would have to be different and you'd have to use the area more like you want you don't want to be inside in the venue alone you want to also use kind of the outside areas so that's kind of how we got the idea and we kind of thought that um we've got this brand so the ndc brand which we are very proud of and we love very much and we are you know we, we are very friendly with microsoft but it's also kind of very tightly people kind of tend to think about dotnet and Microsoft and they hear the NDC brands and we thought maybe if we introduce a new brand we can do other topics and get other kind of um, demographics other attendee groups as well mm -hmm. and so what we've said with the other NDC conferences we do we cover everything anything but we don't do any Java right <laughs> and that doesn't apply to this one so this mm -hmm. we can even do the Java um, and the history behind not doing any Java is obviously because there is a Java conference in Oslo already. Uh, and when we did the first NDC Oslo, we didn't want to do the same sessions and topics that they did. We didn't, there's no point in competing. But, but this festival kind of can cover anything, all topics. We wanted to bring an element of um, like something that was different, to, especially to the evenings because we are also selling separate, cheaper evening tickets. We wanted to do something that was kind of, I don't want to say geeky, but something that uh, we can all appreciate. And space is one of those things that everybody is interested in our field, or most people are interested in the field. It's, it's not only kind of how it's made, mm -hmm. but it's the stories behind it and what we can do. And it's like being inspired to, and kind of excited about the future. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking a lot about you know, obviously the environment and how things are not going as well. And we see like it's, um, we've had more rain in Scandinavia than we've had in like 40 years. And it's been like in Southern Europe and in the in the US, it's like, it's been like way warmer than we're used to, yeah. which is kind of depressing. But we also got this kind of exciting new exploration with space and lots of things happening around that that's kind of, good news and the things that we are excited about. So that's kind of what we wanted to, to focus on. We want, like, in order to make it a festival, we wanted to mix uh, the technology with music and food and drinks, obviously. So we, we'd known Press Play on Tape since 
you know, I don't know, 10, 12 years. We had them over at NDC Oslo, I think, I think it's 10 years ago we had them the first time. And they were also playing at NDC Oslo this summer. So we knew that we're, they would be a good fit. And um, you kind of wanted to have a band that's like for the music, a music act, and more of a developer's band uh, playing on the same day. So we had that yesterday, we had Press Play on tape, mm -hmm. and we had Sasso. Um, and today we got Bathsheba and we got Linebreakers uh, playing on that. So you kind of get a little bit of both worlds. Um, and we wanted to... Like music was a big part of the festival idea. But we wanted also to reach out to a, a younger audience, right? So people who might not be able to attend at the full price point. And we were kind of thinking, how are we able to attract these people to, to get like the cheaper evening pass? And we thought maybe if we had some cool local Danish bands playing and we mix that with, you know, the normal, with some, you know, hardcore technical talks, but also the more inspiring space talks and soft skills talks. And at the same time, maybe that's what could kind of pull this young, younger generation in. Feedback so far has been great. I've only heard good things. I think it's been running really well. Uh, I think um, the venue and the suppliers that are based around this venue are very professional. Uh, we are lucky to have a group of speakers and attendees that are very, very nice and always positive, right? So we always get this kind of, uh, not only for this, but all the events tend to have like a really good vibe and mood because of the people that are attending, mm -hmm. right? And this is no exception. Yeah. So, so far, I would say, if not only good feedback, mostly very good feedback. Uh, and I hope that will continue into this evening when the weather is not as nice <laughs> as it was yesterday. But we've got this great venue here that we can, we can enjoy. So, and that will be warm and dry. Yeah. indoors <laughs> we should be good yes yeah we want we wanted to be fun we wanted to be we wanted to have a good time so when you come to the events we want you to have a good time we don't want you to queue up for food and kind of uh we want you to eat well you know drink well have good entertainment enjoy good talks and we want everything just to kind of be available and ready and uh enjoyable i think that's uh the most important thing about any event really, I would say, is that you feel that you are enjoying yourself at all times, mm -hmm. right? And you're not annoyed by anything. <laughs> so we're trying to not annoy people and making it easy to connect and easy to have conversations. And if you're not queuing up too much and if you're not kind of in in just standing, standing in lines and queuing up and, and wasting your time, then you have more time to connect with other people and to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Uh, and then for, for this event specifically with the Mario Kart Corner and the Mario 64, the retro gaming, um, uh, we are definitely trying to have a little bit of a more playful and fun vibe uh, yeah. than we've had at other events. But uh, yeah, it's always been like, you know, a report to have a playful and kind of a non-corporate feel, even though most of our attendees come from like probably a corporate world, but uh, we don't want to have that. Um, you, know, you don't see many suits at this event, so <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. Come as you are and enjoy yourself.